CBS reports second quarter earnings on Wednesday. Now, profits took a hit last quarter as the network aired fewer NFL playoff games. But should investors expect continued softness in second quarter? Let's ask Neil Macker, a Morningstar analyst. So, Neil, let's begin with CBS's entertainment division, which, of course, includes the CBS TV network. Revenues last quarter dipped a bit, but what are you expecting this time around? Um, we're expecting a small dip again uh, with revenue as local ratings have sort of fallen off for the company in the last couple months. Uh, not concerned long term, as we're seeing a broad decline in ratings in both broadcast and cable, but uh, and which we think should rebound here in the fall. But there should be a slight decline in revenue. Really what we're looking for on the entertainment side is the uptake on CBS All Access, the streaming platform that the company runs. Um, because the company also has linear um, viewing with that streaming platform, what we're really interested in seeing is what's the uptake rate here for it, the platform? Um, where's viewing coming from? Is it coming on just the video on demand side or is it coming through linear TV? And then what's the company going to do with data in this new fall season? How are they going to use the data to uh, renew new shows or get rid of shows down the road? And that's really the key for right. the all access platform. Is that a new viewing method for the company? All right, let's move on to its cable networks, which of course includes Showtime. And that network is getting some buzz after CBS takes a page out of HBO's playbook, which is owned by Time Warner, by allowing Showtime to exist as a standalone web property. This debuted back uh, just a few weeks ago in July. But what's your take on how this will do in the coming months and what it means for the stock? Um, what it means for the stock is it's another way for the company to expand the viewership of Showtime. Unlike HBO, Showtime's a U.S.-only platform. And so if the company sort of opens up broadly where it comes from, this now becomes sort of an international platform. The keys for the platform here also are, are they going to move away from floor, four viewing platforms? Right now, Showtime is only available via an Apple device, Roku device, uh, Hulu, or on this PlayStation View platforms. Now, why Apple and Roku are relatively widespread, um, it's not as widespread as the Android platform or just simply being able to use it on your laptop itself with either a Windows PC. Um, so those are sort of the keys of what we're looking for for Showtime here. Also, on Showtime, they've sort of spent up now on the Mayweather fights. Is that going to continue, and how's that going to drag on earnings down the road? All right, and finally, revenue from local broadcasting fell 5% last quarter. Now, that's largely on the heels of lower ad sales, but what's your take on this division and what it means for share prices going forward? So really, the key for the local division for the company is the retrans broadcast as opposed to the stations the company owns itself. And what do I mean by the retrans broadcast is the stations that are no longer owned by CBS pay a, a fee which is called retransmission fee. And these companies also, these stations also get a fee from local cable right. um, providers like Comcast. And as those fees go up, CBS is going to gain a gain there. And now the other key we're looking for on these pieces is what is advertising going to look like as we're coming to this new political cycle? We've already seen heavy buying from Republicans in Iowa, Boston, New Hampshire. Is that going to continue as we have this sort of very crowded primary field there? And on the Democrat side, Hillary Clinton sort of seemingly had a walk through. Um, on the Democratic primary side, but she now looks like she's going to start spending as she's been hit by some scandals and by the rise of Bernie Sanders. If Joe Biden moves in here as well, we'll see even increased spending on the Democrat side. So that's sort of the two keys we're looking for on the local broadcasting this quarter and down the road. And that political spending could have a positive impact on the stock. Would that be large enough? Um, it could have a positive impact on the stock down the road, depending on what kind of branch we see here. Um, political spending has basically gone up every cycle over the last we'll call it 50 years here, and we're going to expect to see increased spending here. Now, the split's going to be interesting. Is it going to go to Facebook, as we saw with Obama, and the social media presence to get millennials, or are we going to still see a lot of uh, pieces going to television advertising? Given the skew of Republican uh, voters, we're going to expect a large percentage of their advertising to stay on television. Uh, right. Depending on who the candidate is for the Democrats, that split could change quite a bit. All right, Neil, we'll leave it there. Neil Macker, an analyst with Morningstar, with a look at what we should expect in CBS's earnings. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.